without mincing any words today, Jesus in the gospel tells us that miracles in life are no guarantee of eternal life. Miracles that happen in our day-to-day -day life, maybe in ordinary circumstances, maybe in extraordinary circumstances, are only signs that God is powerfully present in my life. But it does not guarantee me eternal life. Jesus makes it very clear in the last statement when he says, stand up and go your faith has saved you. He does not say to this man that your faith has healed you. Your faith has saved you. There were ten people who were healed, but only one was saved, not nine. And how do we know he, he was saved? He's, he came to Jesus with a response of his faith. The others did not really respond to the miracle in their life. He took that healing experience in his life from the perspective of his faith. It was no ordinary thing for him. It was an extraordinary event in his life because of the faith that he had in Jesus. And therefore, besides experiencing a physical healing, it was more so assurance of his faith and response of his faith for him, and therefore he gets back to Jesus with a sense of gratitude. Faith is absolute necessity for life eternal. Without faith in God and in Jesus, we cannot think of having life hereafter. St. James in his letters tells us in chapter 2, faith without works is dead. Show me your faith without works and I will show you my faith by my works. So faith definitely requires external actions. It's like love. When you love somebody, you cannot just say, I love you and this, then just walk out. Love needs to be expressed. And there are very many ways by which we express our love. In the similar way, faith needs to be supported by definite action in our life. And the two most definitive actions I can think of right now, number one is gratitude. In the first reading and in the gospel, we have two people who were healed and their response of their, to their faith was sense of gratitude. They returned to God with deep sense of gratitude. The second response to faith or of faith is surrender. Surrender before God, whatever your situation in life may be. Jesus, in the Garden of Gethsemane, prayed to his Father that this cup of suffering may be taken away. Apparently, Father did not respond to Jesus' prayer positively. Rather, Father sent an angel to Jesus to console him and to assure Jesus that he needs to go through this suffering. Jesus surrenders his will to the will of the Father and goes through the suffering that Father wants him to go through. I think faith does not necessarily affect great miracles in our life. Faith gives us hope and strength to go through everything that Father wants us to go through. We pray during this Holy Eucharist for the grace that we may have faith strong enough to 
move the mountains of challenges, sufferings, and difficulties in our life, and to remain faithful to God in spite of everything that apparently appears to be negative in our life. Amen.